Hello, my enchanted loved ones. Thank you for joining me on this mission of loving missions. On this episode of the Divine Paradigm Journey, we're going to discuss channeling. Um, and again, I would like to thank you for being here with me. Um, but before we get started, I'd like to open by saying a few words um, and asking the most divine, the most high, to please grant us access to a connection or a coalition of collective creators so that we may unite to heal our world with positive love vibration frequencies emitted from our hearts, our souls, and our minds as one liquid flowing rainbow of pure love crystals. We are all energetically connected we are one. So it is. So it be. It is decreed. And I do receive. Om. 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 I would like to also ask our Most High, Most Divine, to please grant us access to divine guidance. And I thank Thee for granting us access to divine guidance. I would also like to ask that we be granted divine wisdom. And I thank Thee for granting us divine wisdom. I would also like to ask that we be granted divine protection and I would like to thank thee for granting us divine protection. I would like to ask that you grant us divine inspiration, divine intervention, and divine interactions. And I thank thee for granting us divine inspiration, divine intervention, and divine interactions. I would like to ask thee to grant us divine love, divine unity, and divine shine. And I thank thee for granting us divine love, divine unity, and divine shine. I would like to ask that we be granted divine time, divine lives, and divine paths. And I would like to thank thee for granting us divine time, divine lives, and divine paths. I would also like to ask that we be granted divine coalition, divine speed, and divine transmissions. And I thank thee for granting us divine coalition, divine speed, and divine transmissions. So it is, so it be, it is decreed, and I do receive. Om. 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 And as always, please remember, my Vibe Tribe, if you resonate with my message, content, please give me a like, a share, a comment, and a subscribe. It will help to get this message out to others with divine speed. Thank you, my enchanted loved ones. Let's get started. So let's open up with channeling. I have spoken a little bit about channeling um, in my other videos in some of the things I've spoke with. So um, basically channeling, um, everyone does it. What we're doing now is channeling. Uh, we are focusing our energy. I'm sure you've heard many times, um, and I'll reiterate again, uh, where your attention goes is where your energy flows. Um, so we are energy beings. Uh, that being said, it's quite uh, widely spread and known. Um, we, they can uh, medically hook electronics to uh, your heart and send it electronic pulses to um, uh, pacemakers is what they're called. Um, so it's clear that we are energetically, um, as I opened up with, we are energetically connected because we are energetic beings. Um, 
And where, again, our attention goes is where our energy flows. And so it is a form of channeling. It's all channeling. Just like anything that is developed over time, there's different levels of channeling, different abilities of channeling. Again, that goes back to the more you do something, the more refined you get at doing it. So, of course, some people have honed in on the channeling and uh, have stronger abilities to channel and pick up frequencies and vibrations that not necessarily every other human has developed the ability to do, but we all do have the ability to develop any skill. Um, we are incredible beings. Um, with that being said, that should give you the understanding of the ability we have to develop the channeling. But I would like us to understand again the capacity of our beings of the channeling uh, same way the animals do but they do not have the refined techniques and the abilities that we are able to develop as a species uh, for an example channeling when you channel and you tap in um, to frequencies and vibrations it's a conscious choice of what you want to tap into so when we choose to tap into hatred, um, angers, animosities towards another, is what we are doing in effect actually, as I've stated before, we're harming ourselves. And it's what we are doing by projecting and channeling our energies of anger, rage, hate, animosities towards another, we're actually creating a boomerang effect. This bubble of the boomerang effect, it comes back to us. Uh, this is how sicknesses, diseases, um, depressions, feelings, these negativities um, that we put out into the world are actually boomeranging back to us. Um, and in effect, we're harming ourselves when we harm another by our negative feelings, our thoughts, our negative speech, violence, hatred. Um, and so that goes back to awareness, being, being in the moment. I've made some notes here I would like to... Um, refer to here um so like focusing awareness on the here and now and appreciation appreciation for life for breath for love for the beautiness around us um, also will reflect back to us and reflect in positive ways um, and then we channel those energies we channel the positivity and the love um, the harmony um, and then we begin to harmonize, not only as individuals, but as a species, um, as a unity. Um, so the more love frequency and vibrations we channel, then we again, we emit those signals. Um, just the same way as the internet in the Wi-Fi, the emails, the sending and receiving uh, you send and receive, we do the same thing um, as beings. This is where this technique was developed, of course, by us. Um, so the sending and receiving, transmitting, and uh, is the channeling. Uh, so the channeling is not bad. It can be perceived and turned into as bad, but it is completely normal it's okay channeling is it's an everyday thing that we do all the time 
Um, it's just depending on the different levels and the different, different abilities that you have. Um, and every individual is different. Same as when uh, skills as carpentry. I personally do not have carpentry skills. Uh, if you asked me to build something and you gave me measurements, the tools, the saws, I possibly could figure it out. And most probably after time, I could improve that skill. But with practice, with doing it to honing in that skill, uh, channeling is also the same way. That's why uh, individuals are able to channel more frequencies and vibrations and pick up things that some others are not um, have developed skills to do again not a bad thing uh, it just means that they have developed their skill to channel and tune into vibrations and frequencies that others have not doesn't mean they're not there. Same as in an animal. A dog can hear things and sense things that we do not because they have developed that skill. Um, it's an instinct almost to them. We all have these instincts. We all have the ability. We have the antennas. They are in our head. We've just not use them but they are completely very easily developed um, it just takes the step towards it again um, meditation will help with that also meditation helps you to clear I highly recommend meditate 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 uh, it gives you a connection to those frequencies and those vibrations uh, that you don't normally pick up with the everyday hustle and bustle of, of goings on in life, uh, the distractions of the everyday. Uh, we tend to not let our minds quiet and again, come back to the here and now and the focus and the appreciation. Uh, we tend to get caught up into the, the past past regrets, things of the future, uh, fears, future events appearing real. Um, we let our minds wander. And when we do this, this is where we tend to lose our connection um, and our abilities that are inner abilities that are always there for us. Um, and again, it's easily done, but um, you can't focus on the negatives. You have to stay focused in the positive realm. And um, the more those positive vibrations and frequencies will channel to you, um, you can tend to pull them more to you um, as in everything. Uh, we are a magnet. Um, and so the magnet has the ability to draw. And so what we are emitting is what we're going to draw back to us. And again, I can't, uh, I can't stress enough um, to you how important your emissions are, not only to others in the world that we live in, but to us as a being ourself. Um, our vibrations directly affect others and ourself. And as a race, as a species, as a humankind, we must understand the ability of our powers. These powers were bestowed upon us uh, in the beginning. If we go back to Genesis in the Bible, uh, the teachings of the animals and all of this has been given to us from the very beginning 
this is our realm and it kind of it works in tiers uh, so the upper realms um, are for most divine most high uh, who has ultimate control over all um, but this realm was bestowed upon us uh, to tend over to care for uh, with the animals uh, that's where it goes back to the horsemen the horsemen are directly within our control also that was bestowed upon us uh, the wind the water the earth the fire all of this was given was given to our control um, and it goes directly back to controlling our vibrations so when we control these vibrations um, and we emit love we emit the rainbow the rainbow of love that is another direct message of the bible love and emit the rainbow um, because we control all and it is our conscious choice to spread love or to spread hate to harmonize or to be at odds and at friction friction um, with each other and I do believe that there, this realm is, it's changing. Um, you can feel the change. That may seem a little rocky, um, but again, we have the power to change it all, all with our frequencies, our vibrations we emit, um, and it's all through love all through love my enchanted loved ones um, and i want us to remember that i want us to remember and uh, understand that um, channeling is not a bad thing channeling is completely normal it is it's completely it's natural it's in it's an instinct um, and don't be afraid of it don't be afraid to um, open your mind and open your heart to the frequencies the feelings the vibrations because they're all around us and they're all us to tap they're for us to tap into um, and we can change this world we can change this realm simply by tapping in energetically connecting to this liquid love of it's everywhere it's for us it's all here for us we just have to tap into it and and emit it emit it send it and receive it send it and receive it um, that's that's what it comes down to um, and again i i hope i was clear i've been working on my speech i know i'm a southern girl so um, I do have an accent, but I'm trying to control it and to so make sure um, that you understand these messages. Um, and again, the magnitude and the power of your being. Um, we all control this. It's all in our hands. And it's all up to us. It's, a, it's just a, a choice, a conscious choice. The man in the mirror to change ourselves and as we change internally externally we change all around us all for us to behold beauty is everywhere and beauty is for us we just have to embrace it we have to embrace the love Again, uh, thank you for being here with me. Uh, I will be back with you soon. I, our, my next episode, oh, excuse me, my next episode coming up will be satellites. Uh, I will be speaking with that uh, on that uh, subject very soon with you. Uh, again, uh, 
it goes back to the magnitude of your being. And it's all in our control. It's all in our control, my enchanted loved ones. Many blessings, much eternal love.